welcome to another video a walk on the wild side and i'm here on a very breezy south promenade i'm by the mirror ball here check this out it is blowing an absolute gale here in blackpool this morning look at that sea there so i'm by the mirror ball and i thought i'd come out and do a a little video for you just to give you a bit of an update on the mirror ball while I'm at it down here not finished it yet as you can see it's in place but they haven't finished it off yet it's not complete I'm kind of hoping there might be some rainbows today it's, kind of, it's that classic rainbow weather and my friend Mark McNeil used a drone to capture a rainbow over Blackpool Tower the other day on this channel and it was absolutely amazing so if you want to see an amazing video of a rainbow over Blackpool Tower captured with a drone follow Mark McNeil there'll be a link up somewhere up here to Mark's channel let's see if we can get him to a thousand subscribers no access yeah check this out in fact the tide this morning is only about six and a half meters so we're not going to get those epic breaking waves that we sometimes get here but yeah it's a little bit breezy this morning as you can probably tell the winds are gusting to gale force here just check out this tide behind me look at this wowzers hope you can hear me okay yeah, this is a great place to come if you want to see those those uh, waves that whip up they really whip up the sea wall here and you can get a spectacular photo of the big one with a with a wave coming right i've got them in the past i'll show one on the screen now uh, that i've got earlier when you get a high tide something like eight and a half meters and the wind's coming from the west as it is now it's driving that tide right up to the sea wall and you get those waves that break up here and they whip round and they look absolutely spectacular so i'll just show you a bit more of the mirror ball as you can see it's been put in place but they've still got to put some mirrors on it yet and it just well i'm not sure if they're going to be able to complete this but maybe it's the weather maybe it's had to be put off due to the weather you know the wild weather we've got this week so they've got more mirrors to put on as you can see but also if you look over here they've got these projection units to put on as well there's six of them six of them all together kind of hoping that they do get it done this this um winter you know before because one more to, to wait till next year would we we want to see if we can get this done for this this year i think really anyway the sun's coming out we might get a rainbow next look at this there's no one else on the promenade i must be mad just look at this that is absolutely epic so we've got the sun breaking out now here in blackpool but if you look up towards the north there it looks like it's absolutely tipping it down over morecambe bay and south cumbria here's a close-up of uh, blackpool tower hopefully it won't blow over it's been there for over 125 years so i don't think it'll be going anywhere soon Look, those waves are pretty strong the, the tide is starting to go out by the way this is the view looking towards the west look at that amazing check out this cormorant look at that there a cormorant and you see all sorts of wildlife from Blackpool so that's the Solaris Centre just opposite where the mirror ball is and you can see there's a turbine there that's really blowing round there's another one on the other side as well it's hardly spinning at all so I don't know what's wrong with that one and then they've got the coastal point development over there that's coastal point they're still building those by the way quite exclusive flats I can see somebody up there with a the camera underneath that shelter there so I'm not the only one here I should have brought my camera as well I've only got my uh, phone with me today to do this video I've just come back here again to show you this so there's a rainstorm passing over Morecambe Bay and as you can see it's now passing over and we can start to see Cumbria again yeah amazing Okay, so I'm now outside the Solaris Centre here on South Promenade. This used to be called the Solarium, by the way. So this is the front main entrance. 
And what I'll do is I'll take you around the back to have a little look around the back, because not that many people have seen around the back of here, I don't think. Okay, so I'm now around the back of the Solaris Centre, and it's a little bit more sheltered around here, but still quite breezy, as you can see. I thought I'd give you a little look in, in here, because there's like a little park at the back. Not that many people really venture down this way. So there's a cafe in there, and they also have exhibitions. This used to be called the Solarium, by the way. Hey, look, they've got uh, sunflowers over here, look. So this is round the back of the Solaris Centre. So as you see, they've got, got a bit of a field. They've also got this here. This, uh, this is quite dinky. This interests me because I'm an astronomer as well, you see. They've got, like, uh, all the planets here. This, they've got Jupiter there with the great red spot, look. And you can even sit on the rings of Saturn. How about that, eh? How cool is that? So it's actually the Orrery Project 2006 and it shows you all about it here. I'll tell you what, it's a bit windy for working at this place here but they've got quite a bit more on this coastal point development to do yet. I think they've got all this section here to do. These are exclusive flats by the way so if you're thinking of moving to Blackpool and you've got a bit of money to spend you might want to check out this place here. Yeah, check this out. I'm not sure if there's a penthouse suite right on the very top there. Or whether it's, uh, it could be someone's garden, whoever lives on the top. They'll have like a private garden up there, but uh, very impressive. Need a bit of money to buy that place. I've not made enough YouTube millions yet, but we'll see. I think that building used to be a care home before massive building. I tell you what, it makes quite a difference being around the back here to being on the promenade. The wind is so much calmer around the back. Anyway, this park is quite big, you know. On the quiet, lots of people like to walk the dogs in here. There's a road over there called Harriside that takes you over the railway bridge. And if you want the best kebab shop in town, there's the Armenian kebab shop just up there. Yeah, so there you go. Well, if I don't see any natural rainbows, at least I've got this rainbow fence here in this little uh, seating area here behind the Solaris Centre. Check out those hotels over there. We've got number one, South Beach. That looks pretty posh, that. And next to that, we've got Fabric Luxury Harriside Suites. And they're both next to the Headlands. Check this out, the sun's come out now. Anyway, this is Blackpool South Promenade on a very breezy Friday morning. I think I'm going to go off and chase some rainbows now. Don't forget to check out my friend Mark's channel with his rainbow over the tower from a drone. Absolutely epic. Anyway, I'm going to leave you now from here at the mirror ball here. Still waiting for it to be finished. And I hope you like the video. If you do, hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos. And I will see you again on the next one.